Hey everybody, you welcome back to the channel. I'm your girl Mimi J. You welcome back. Okay, let us talk about Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua's wife today and the state at which scorn is at this moment. Look at this. There's this song that always say, Do you believe in this miracle? Do you actually believe in miracles? Of course, I do believe. I believe Jesus Christ still heal the sick. Jesus Christ can still provide. Jesus Christ can still give hope to the hopeless. Jesus Christ can still deliver. I do believe. Look at what is happening. Something is happening in Scorn now that you don't even know about. Did you know after BBC baseless allegation? The scorn ministry, the people that visit synagogue, increased from, from thousands to millions. Yeah. Like Prophet Ibusha will rightly hold it. That when you talk about him, many would like to visit to see if what you actually said is true. And if they come there and discover what you said is not true, they will be a member that's the same thing that's happening in Scotland now. Look at something. That's the same thing. People are still being moved by the power of God. In the life of the woman of God, Mama Evelyn Joshua. Are you seeing that? And the population keeps increasing because people actually are curious. They want to know who this person is. They want to know where he, even though he's of blessed memory, Many people still fly to synagogue to know, I mean, just to have a view of the church. To know what is happening there, even in the man of God's absence. Prophet Tibi Joshua, I'll keep on saying, had a community on Facebook, on Facebook, YouTube, more than Africa. Many people follow Prophet Tibi Joshua more than presidents in the world. When you people are talking against him, what about the charity work he did? Do you also talk about that? Some people came actually and was throwing stone on me that I was concurring with what Prophet Joshua did. Why would I not concur with the number of lives he touched? Not only in Nigeria, not only in Africa, not only in Asia, but in the world at large. Why will I not talk about that? What about the schools he opened all over the world? Nigerians, you keep talking against Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. Do you remember there were thousands of Nigerians some years ago being maltreated and imprisoned in Italy, and he paid for their flight to come back home? He didn't end there. When they came back home, he gave them hundreds of thousands naira to set up business, businesses from the, for themselves. Gave them food. He decided to sponsor some of them. Why can't you talk about that? Can you still remember this same prophet T.B. Joshua? took care of the less privileged. Why is it that we always talk of evil? We see evil in men than good. A lot of people see evil in men than good. Have you watched the video of Mama Evelyn Joshua visiting Ghana? The less privileged? Did you watch that video? Why can't we encourage people to do the same, to follow that full step? You said he was fake. He did this, he did that, he did this. Did you outline one of the little good he did? You didn't. But you just look at something, I call it baseless, to throw stones on him. What a terrible war we live in. If we fear God, 
we, we will pray to have the spirit of discernment, to know who they sent senior prophet T.B. Joshua was. Because if you actually fear God, you know who he was. In his lifetime, we, we saw miracles. I'm not saying that all the people that went there for healing ended up being healed. No, even Jesus Christ himself, he did not heal all the people that came to him. But the majority were touched. Why is Prophet T.B. Joshua own most pronounced even after his death? Can we allow him rest in peace? Anyways, I'll keep on saying, what if one day all of us are being called to glory and we discover he was actually a true servant of God? What will we do? We the judges, what will we do? Let us say no to hate speech. That's what is killing us. That is what is killing us. Do you remember Prophet T.B. Joshua is the only man of God that president were pleading to settle in the country and he turns it down? Have you forgotten that of Greece? That he went to Greece? They even set up synagogue there for him to settle there. And he said, no, that was not my vision. That's not what God is asking me to do. That's to tell you, if it were some random people that call themselves men of God around the world, they will hurriedly go because they are looking for money. Why do you call him fake upon all the good he did? Why will you throw stone on him, not allowing him to rest in peace? Why? That's terrible. Anyways, for your information, those of you with hate speeches everywhere, the synagogue is growing as never before. And the grace of God is being manifest in the life of his servant. And in the life of the wife of Senior Prophet Tib Joshua of Blessed Memory. Let us keep on winning. Win today, win tomorrow, win forever. And win in whatsoever that has to do with you. If you're coming across my visa for the first time, please subscribe. Remember I said I am Mimi J. And I am here for lifestyle and not for this. But I just pray this touches your heart to stop all this. Things, terrible things can happen in our life just because we talk against men of God. Please, let's be careful the way we talk against true servants of God. We, at times, when we talk like that, we attract curses to ourselves without knowing. It is well. Let me leave you here for today. Thank you. See you in our subsequent video. Have you ever heard of the Douala International airport okay we're going to walk around that airport in a little while thank you bye bye see you i love you give a thumb up for the video meet you again